New tonight, it's a critical need for so many families, especially working families, child care, and a leading community service organization is stepping up to make it accessible and affordable for families in Washington County. Stephen Cohen takes a look at the plans. Meeting a critical need for child care in Washington County. Child care is essential for many parents while at the workplace. Here in Washington County, the YMCA is striving to be sure it is available to any family that may need it. Without those programs there, a lot of parents would have to work limited hours um, or maybe couldn't work at all. The YMCA is expanding child care to 22 sites at Washington County schools with learning programs staffed by professionals. And without child care, parents can't work, parents can't do go to school. It's a, it's a very important need here in Washington County. Maryland Congressman David Trone paid a visit to the Hagerstown Y at the start of the week, assuring program administrators that funding is secure. We also here at the Y, if they can't afford child care, we have a financial scholarship that they can apply for if they don't qualify through the state. And professional standards are in place through the Excels program. Excellence counts in early learning and school age care. Great option that the Y is, an affordable option that the Y is, and just somewhere that their kids can be happy and safe. Arranging child care through the YMCA is as simple as going online or visiting the Y on Eastern Boulevard in Hagerstown. Reporting from Hagerstown, Stephen Cohen, DC News Now. Stephen, thank you. And we're staying in Maryland. A new area code is coming starting June 14th. People may be assigned a 227 area code. Well, this is in response to the high demand of telephone numbers. Last September, the new area code was approved to overlay the existing 240 and 301 area code region. The new area code you could see pop up in Montgomery County and Western Maryland, including Bethesda, Frederick, Hagerstown, and Silver Spring. 